Antony was handed a well-deserved rest in Sunday's win over Aston Villa with a 15-minute substitute appearance, and Manchester United fans have backed the Brazilian to make his return to the starting lineup against Brighton. United travel to the Amex this evening in the hope of further cementing their place in the Premier League top four. Three points would see Eric Ten Hag's side leapfrog Newcastle into third, leaving them seven points clear of Liverpool in fifth. It's been just 11 days since the pair last met, with United edging an FA Cup semi-final penalty shootout 7-6 after 120 minutes of play failing to separate the sides. The Seagulls have made no secret of their desire to exact revenge on the Reds. The hectic schedule continues with a trip to the Amex and United fans have backed Antony to return in one of two changes from the side that beat Villa. The Brazilian has been in his best form since joining from Ajax in recent weeks, but has not added to the goal and assist that came against Nottingham Forest in mid-April. Jadon Sancho has been picked to keep his spot on the left, buoyed by a first goal since February in the 2-2 draw against Tottenham. That game also saw Marcus Rashford score for the first time since returning from a groin injury, putting him onto 29 across all competitions for the season. He is expected to lead the line as Ten Hag continues to manage Anthony Marshall's minutes. The trio of Casemiro Christian Eriksen and Bruno Fernandes continues their perfect record when starting together against Villa to make it 20 unbeaten, albeit the latter was on the right wing. Reds supporters have opted to drop Fernandes back into midfield for the trip to Brighton. At the back, Luke Shaw and Victor Lindelof have been tipped to continue their improving partnership in front of David De Gea with Rafael Varane and Lissandro Martinez still sidelined. Diogo Dalet and Aaron Juan Basaka have been back to start at left and right back respectively, with supporters going for the same back four and goalkeeper that kept the Seagulls out at Wembley.